Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Keenan Smith. It's Wednesday, November 7th. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Democrat Gretchen Whitmer has been elected Michigan's next governor. The 47-year-old East Lansing native defeated Republican State Attorney General Bill Schuette by a comfortable margin in Tuesday's midterm elections. Whitmer will be sworn in as Michigan's 49th governor on New Year's Day alongside her running mate, Garland Grilled Crest II, who will become the first African-American to serve as Michigan's lieutenant governor. Now to an 11th hour victory in Michigan's 8th congressional district. Okay. Garland Gilchrist II. Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Keenan Smith. It's Wednesday, November 7th. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Democrat Gretchen Whitmer has been elected Michigan's next governor. The 47-year-old East Lansing native defeated Republican State Attorney General Bill Schuette by a comfortable margin in Tuesday's midterm elections. Whitmer will be sworn in as Michigan's 49th governor on New Year's Day alongside her running mate, Garland Gilchrist II. Gilchrist will become the first African-American to serve as Michigan's lieutenant governor. Now to an 11th hour victory in Michigan's 8th Congressional District. Democrat Alyssa Slotkin is projected to unseat Republican incumbent Mike Bishop. The race was neck and neck, but Slotkin pulled away, winning with less than 2,300 votes separating her and Bishop. And voters said yes to Proposition 1 legalizing recreational marijuana in Michigan. Now, marijuana does not become legal until 10 days after those results are certified. The measure allows adults 21 and over to carry two and a half ounces of marijuana on them and have up to 10 ounces of marijuana at their home and grow up to 10 plants for personal use. Windy and cold outside today. High temperatures will only be around the lower 40s, but with the wind gusts, it's going to feel like it's in the low to mid 30s throughout this afternoon. Just a, a slight chance of a light shower through about 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. Tonight, getting cold, 32 degrees for the overnight low. Tomorrow, 45 degrees, partly cloudy, lighter wind. And by Friday morning, we could see a rain-snow mix. I don't expect any of the snow to stick to the roads, but a rain-snow mix possible through the day Friday. And then this weekend, it just gets cold. 20s in the mornings and afternoon highs both Saturday and Sunday will be in the upper 30s. All right, thank you very much, Kevin. Now onto a note of history. Michigan Democrat and Detroit native Rashida Tlaib is making history. The Palestinian American is now one of the first two Muslim women elected to Congress. Tlaib won the 13th congressional district seat easily and will join Minnesota's Ilhan Omar in Congress. Omar will be the first Somali American member of Congress. Don't forget you can get the news anytime at WXYZ.com and on the free seven app. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.